Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. This is the weekly reading for Leo. Anyone with Leo placements or anyone else who's guided to see it, this reading could resonate at a different time if you're guided at a different time to watch it. Let's get into it. I've already shuffled, so we just need a few quick shuffles. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this reading? Leo reading for anyone who's guided to see it whenever they're guided. It is a weekly reading. What do we need to know about it? All right. I feel like one more shuffle. Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. All right, let's do it. This is a really beautiful deck. I forget what it's called, but I think it's something reflections, if that helps. And if anybody would like to chime in down below, I don't keep the boxes and it's an old, old deck. Um, so I hope you guys will um, chime in and let us know what it is. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, Please let us know about this Leo reading. What are the most important things that we need to know? Okay. Moon reversed. Excellent. Okay. Chariot reversed. Tower reversed. And the Four of Cups reversed. Everything's reversed so far. But um, in this case, wow, that's way too many. In this case, that's actually a good thing for most of these cards. Um, the Moon reversed. The Tower reversed. And the Four of Cups reversed. That we'd rather see them in reverse. What else do we need to know? Leo reading. So, um, information's coming out. It has something to do with, um, wow. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. So we got two challenges. All right. Um, all right. Let's just take a peek here as a challenge. All right. Let's just show you the cards. You've got the moon and it came out reverse. This is usually a Scorpio card for me. Um, the scorpion right down here um the, they always make it look like a lobster but usually when we see that we think of scorpio but it's right next to the chariot so it could be cancer okay so can't you know the moon typically cancer pisces scorpio blah 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 but we've got both right here because you've got the tower right here in the reverse so you have scorpio and cancer right here a lot right okay you also have the four of cups in the reverse as well and you also, and look at the, um, this person's being so stubborn, like, no, I don't want the new beginning. It's reversed though. You know, typically, um, the four of cups, either we don't see the offer, we don't understand the offer, or we reject the offer in this particular deck, someone would be rejecting the offer, but it is in reverse. So we'll talk about that. We also got the two of swords and the wheel of fortune, both in the upright, but as a challenge, they both came out on their side. All right. So interesting. So someone is needing to make a decision to turn the wheel. It's like a conscious decision. Someone has to make to allow the wheel to turn. Looks to me like they've been blocking it. Like, nope. And the chariot reversed. Really? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's a no. Um, but let's look, take a look at the back energy here. Oh, absolutely. So there could be a good reason for this. All right. So when I see this reading, I see somebody who has, um, I, I'm not going to go back too far, but we do have the hanged man here in, re, I mean, in the upright and we have the page of cups reversed. So you have cancer, Pisces and Scorpio very strongly. And these are both Pisces cards. All right. So we have, again, someone who is just they put themselves in the hangman position to make an important decision over here i feel like they're trying to look at things from a different perspective they're trying to gain enlightenment they're trying to figure something out but they haven't done anything they're just sitting put so if they need to come in with that cup they haven't done it if they need to accept the cup they haven't done that either but i feel like the same person who's sitting still is the one that needs to make the offer so whoever has been too stubborn to actually i feel this is i don't normally see that off this card but with those back cards i feel like somebody's been too stubborn to actually make the offer um we have the ten of swords here reversed okay and maybe it's that they're too um stubborn to accept the offer from a pisces that could be it um, but if you don't know them as a Pisces, they could be another sign, but they could have a strong Pisces placement. Ten of Swords reverse tells me someone was betrayed by this person or hurt by this person, and that's why they don't want to take them back. Two of Cups. Okay, Two of Cups. This could be any kind of partnership. I also have Leo here with this Two of Cups. Um, so we have, again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo coming through very strongly in your reading. Um, so I feel as though... 
They're rejecting the partnership because they feel like it's not successful. Six of Wands because there was some kind of betrayal or something here. Now, as we come into the reading, we've got information possibly coming out here with the moon in reverse or something um, coming out. Um, and we have someone here who needs to make a decision about whatever this is. With the tower here, I feel like this would be a decision that deals with a tower that happened in the past, which caused somebody to put all these brakes on. The person that put the brakes on could be Cancer, because the chariot here is in reverse. Um, but again, it could be you. We've got the Leo energy right there, right? So, and this is a Cancer card. So this, you could be a Leo Cancer Cusper, or you could just have a lot of Cancer in your chart because you're a Leo and it's your sister sign. Let's get right into it. We're going to clarify with the Gilded Royale. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good. Leo reading, weekly reading for Leo. What are the most important messages we need to know about this reading? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and deliver the most accurate messages possible to the people who need them the most. Leo reading. For anyone who's guided to see it, whenever they're guided. What do we need to know about it? Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible. Leo reading. Okay, let's go with the moon reversed. What do we need to know? This reading could change on a dime. We could go in a total di different direction. So hang in there, guys. If you don't, things come out of my mouth while I'm talking. If stuff comes out really fast, sometimes it's just that I'm channeling and any random thing could come out. So you have to pay attention for your particular messages okay all right so let's get a look at the moon reversed tell me about the moon reversed leo reading moon reversed Yeah, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Absolutely. So uh, this is something. Didn't we have that? Oh, I don't know why I thought I had that back here. Um, Seven of Pentacles reversed is um, you've been waiting for this information to come out for a while. So I feel like it's finally coming out, whatever this is. And whatever this information is, look at the bottom. Two of Wands is going to allow for you to see the path you have to take. See how it's being like lit? It's like Spirit comes down and lights a path for you and says this is the way to go. Whatever this information is, is going to show you the way to go in this decision that's been so hard with the Wheel of Fortune here. Because once you make this decision, the wheel turns and you go into a new cycle. And I feel like this is important. I feel this could also absolutely be a card of been like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And look what falls out as I'm saying it. The sun with the universe at the bottom. This is a cycle you've been waiting for and stuck in. And you need that wheel to turn. Okay. But let's keep going here. What do we need to know about the chariot? And you need this chariot in the upright. So you can get in your chariot and go. Tell me about the chariot reversed. Is there anything important we need to know? Leo reading. Chariot reversed. The eight of pentacles reversed. This could be a financial situation or a work situation. It is reversed. So, um have you not been working or not able been able to get to work or go to work or ha, did you did this tower come down on you and were you fired um did you lose your job or did you did you leave a job because of something that was going on somebody could have been taking advantage of you all right we have the five of swords here at the bottom there could have been drama there could have been trauma there could have been someone taking advantage of you and you said no not today and you left tell me about this tower what do we need to know about this tower or you could have been unfairly unfairly mistreated in a work situation tell me about the tower reversed This does not have to be work, by the way, guys. This could be something else. So don't go anywhere thinking, oh, it's about work. It doesn't. That's just for whoever it's for. Tell me about the tower reversed. Like I said, different messages will come through for different people. So hang in there. Tell me about the tower reversed. What do we need to know? Leo reading. Tower reversed.
Why is the tower in reverse, please? Why? There we go. All right, we got another challenge of the Nine of Swords in reverse as a challenge. All right, so um, whatever this is, put you under a tremendous amount of stress right and that was hard to release this stress you like you lived in it for it's almost like you lived in the tower over and over whatever happened um caused you to stay and look at this we have the seven of chalices seven of cups reversed and we have the hierophant here clarity around some kind of contract uh, that caused you 10 swords to the back. So did we have that back here? Yep, we did. 10 swords to the back, right? There's an apology coming in. Um, somebody's been trying to figure out how to come in and say they're sorry, how to apologize. They're not sure how to do it. This could be a relationship, any kind of contract, spiritual, physical, whatever. But what? But see, I keep getting work cards, eight of pentacles and three of pentacles. But right behind that is a family card. So whatever, for each of you, it's definitely going to be different. So this is like a 50-50 split. For some of you, this is going to be personal. And for some of you, this is going to be a work situation. Whatever it is, there was so much stress around this and someone absolutely got stuck in the stress that this caused them. They're about ready to release it though. There's some kind of clarity coming in around this. Now, when we say contract, what do we mean? Any kind of agreement with another person. It could be physical. It could be spiritual. It could be on paper or not. It doesn't matter, right? It's just two people that agree to something together. Tell me about the um, Four of Cups. What do we need to know about it? It's reversed. Okay, we've got the Knight of Chalices coming in with that chalice. So, <laughs> that's very, very interesting. Look at the cards. Here's the, the chalice coming in, and here's somebody going, No, I'm not accepting the apology, but it's reversed. So, I feel the apology will be accepted, uh, or the offer. Like I said, you might have been waiting a long time for a commitment. When I see, you know somebody's finally going to come forward or somebody's finally going to give you some information or something this also could be someone committing like i'm ready now to commit with the hierophant right um somebody but whatever it is it's somebody coming forward to make this offer and to say something knight of swords at the bottom this is definitely somebody coming forward to say something about this um I feel like they want to clear something up. Both the knights were in the upright, which is nice to see. Um, let's look at the Wheel of Fortune and Two of Swords as a challenge. They came out together on their side like that. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune and Two of Swords together here for this reading. Wow, absolutely. Oh my gosh, wait till you see this energy. Wow. So Six of Swords, Ace of Cups. Please get in the boat and let's go towards our new beginning. It's beautiful, really. This is gorgeous energy. This, whatever this person's deciding to do, whether it's you, them, them, you, will bring, it will definitely um, clear up something, bring something to a peaceful place and bring in a new beginning. But someone's got to speak up. Somebody's going to have to apologize here, I feel, or come forward with something they didn't come forward with before. Somebody's been waiting a long time for this, either an apology or for you to come forward and tell them something or speak up about something or make an offer, right? Um, now, this could be you. This could be them, right? So this all could be you've been waiting for this. But what I see is somebody deciding that they're going to stop holding back because somebody felt, I mean, somebody's been waiting and waiting and waiting. Uh, they felt absolutely betrayed because there was no success here. Nothing, no one ever came forward. Judgment in reverse right behind all that says someone never got the wake up call. Like, um, hello, you're supposed to be coming forward and, you know, apologizing or um, putting yourself out there or, you know, or, or, or it's going to be different for each of you. But whatever it is, it involves someone who would need to make a conscious decision to turn the wheel and come forward. I love this energy for the end of your reading, really. Even, you know, this, look, I mean, it's like someone who will make a conscious decision to turn that wheel. And what does it turn into? 
Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, two of the best cards you can get. I mean, it's really beautiful energy coming in with the Knight of Cups. And someone's not going to reject it. It's not going to be rejected. Somebody could be scared. They've waited a long time. Maybe they didn't come in with this because they felt like they would be, you know, rejected. They would not be successful. And Spirit says, just go for it. Stop. This, this freaking yourself out could have caused your tower like if this was a personal thing i feel like someone could have freaked themselves out so bad that kept causing their own stress and anxiety here when really all they needed to do was actually go forward and do something about it um if this was a work situation um i feel like um for some of you this could have been a a financial or work situation that's going to get clarified that's going to get rectified as well there's some kind of some information you've been waiting for a long time and there is some kind of an apology coming in with this and this is going to bring, bring you to a really peaceful place it's funny um aries had a very similar reading um theirs was different but you know the same kind of energy behind it where like something's going to get made right you know in a situation that felt really um daunting but it gets like something gets fixed um it was different than yours but it was similar so if you're dealing with an aries you might want to check it out yeah delight and synthesis just flew out of the deck um and transformation acts at, at, this is beautiful this shows that that wheel of fortune's coming in right that's been so difficult to get to the transformation's coming in but this wheel of fortune gets turned because someone's making a decision to do something about it they're taking an action Okay, so that, whether it's you or them, right? Somebody's taking an action here. And it's going to cause delight and synthesis. Very, very happy cards. You're going to love this when this transforms. And like I said, somebody's been waiting. Seven of Pentacles reversed for a very long time. Judgment reversed. Hanged Man and Page of Cups reversed. Somebody's been waiting for this for a long time. It's been just replaying over and over. Like, when is this going to happen? Well, finally, it's going to happen whether you're the one who's pursuing or going to get, receive, right? Anyway, guys, please do chime in down below. Let me know if this was work or personal. And let me know if you are the pursuer or the pursuee. I'd love to hear from you guys and exchange energy, okay? Have a great week. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much. Don't forget to hit the like. Bye.